Hey everyone, thanks for being here again. Uh, I wanted to give you a 10 month update on these Iron Rangers. Um, this is the Red Wing Iron Rangers. This is the Hawthorne Mule Skinner, rough out leather. Um, and this is what uh, they look like after 10 months of pretty much daily wear at this point, all weather. Um, and yeah, they're, they're, they're looking pretty cool. A couple things here, I did get uh, boot trees from Woodlore. One of you uh, awesome viewers um, had suggested that I get some boot trees, so I did that. And I've been using them for about, I don't know, three or four weeks now. I don't think I've used them enough to give my full opinion on them, so I'm gonna hold that off for, for a future video maybe, if you're interested. Uh, so I got those. Uh, and the only other thing that I'm seeing as I kind of spin around here, you can see how they're how they're wearing in. Um, the only other thing that I'm really kind of frustrated with these days is the soles. Now the soles are, um, I, I don't know, they're, they're, they're definitely more for fashion, of course, but they are solid as a rock. So uh, you can see there's plenty of wear on them left, but uh, the, the fact that they're so hard keeps them from wearing quickly, but it also keeps them from gripping most any surfaces. So um, most dry, uh, I'm, I'm working on concrete most of the time, smooth kind of uh, like, a, like a warehouse type floor. And if it gets any type of dust on there, these things are, are it's like ice. So uh, I'm hoping that I don't know, maybe in another couple months or uh, maybe we'll do a, a, a resole on these things. And I'm looking for something that's a little stickier, a little gummier, and a little more aggressive. So if any of you Iron Ranger guys out there have a great suggestion of something that's a little bit softer for a sole, a little stickier, send them my way and uh, I'll look into it. Today I want to take these out into uh, the cold, into the snow. Uh, and it's about, let me see what temperature it is here at the moment. Looks like it is about 12 degrees. So, pretty cold, probably too cold for these things. Uh, you guys are probably all cringing. There's, there's no insulation on these things at all. Um, I'm going to double sock, so we'll see if that does anything. But really what I'm kind of interested in is uh, how well they keep out the water. There is some snow on the ground, not a lot, um, but I'm going to do a little little off-road hiking here, so we'll see how they do. The plan is to head south of here. There's two things I want to check out, um, and one of them I checked out in an earlier video. You might remember we took these to, uh, to a park with uh, a little waterfall. Now that it's so bitter cold, that waterfall is probably completely frozen in this really cool kind of wall of water. So I want to try to hike down to that. Sometimes it's really impressive, sometimes it's kind of just meh. Uh, depends on how cold it's been, depends on freezing, thawing, all those things. So I want to take a look at that and on the way there there is a section of uh, a rock face that people ice climb on. Again, if the conditions are right and it's pretty darn cold here now, um, the, if the conditions are right, people people will climb on this. So we'll walk down to that and, uh, I don't know, just, just spend some time outside. Now, I think I mentioned this before, but I'm not lacing these things up very often as far as tying them. I use these speed laces, and again, one of you commenters had filled me in on this. If you just leave them tied, you can snug them up and just kind of set them up there. It's really quick, works uh, in the opposite way too. You can kind of just spin them on without tying them and untying them. Much quicker, especially in the winter time when your, uh, your shoes are always kind of uh, muddy and you want to take them off every time you come in the, the door. So quick to just kind of spin them off here and you're out of them. It's great. See that? I almost slipped like the fourth step. 
out of the out of the door. Now, if you've watched any of the other update videos, uh, particularly the early ones from last year, uh, you'll notice that this all weather kind of kick that I'm on here is is fairly new. When I first got these boots, I would never take them out in rain. I wouldn't want to uh, get them stained or prematurely ruined. Uh, but a couple things. Number one, I think I I think I underestimated how tough they actually were, and that how much of a beating they can actually take. And the second thing is, if you don't wear them very often, you never wear them in, you never soften them up, they never get molded to your foot, so they're never truly comfortable. Uh, it, it took it took weeks um, to get them to a point where they felt just a part of my foot, which is what I think everybody wants to, to get to. I can't imagine having three or four pairs, and I know that a lot of you guys watching uh, are probably have multiple pairs of these things. It must take forever to wear in multiple pairs to the point where they're all comfortable and something that you want to have on your foot. It's part of the reason why I haven't gotten another pair. Believe me, I've, I've seen a whole bunch of other pairs of boots out there, but I, I feel like I feel like these things are just getting kind of good. All right, so right up here is where they ice climb. I can see there's some cars up here, so it, I would imagine that somebody's probably doing something. So there was a few people up there. Uh, man, it is freezing cold and those people are crazy. If you quietly listened, even though it's uh, 17 degrees right now, if you listened when you walked up to it, you could hear the water running down. It was really, it's really kind of neat. All right, on to the next spot. Let's get a little walking in. And just to give you a quick idea of how cold it is, look at the ice flow coming down the river here. This is seriously treacherous. It's like a solid sheet of ice with a nice dusting of snow on top of it. You gotta be some kind of a nut.
And so here we are, there's the waterfall over there. It's about 20 or 30 feet down below. I'm not gonna get much closer because the drop over there is pretty unforgiving. But I think I can go this way, probably crab walk down through here and uh, get a better look at the falls. Well, that was among the dumber things that I've done this decade, for sure. It was a solid sheet of ice. And, of course, I thought I, could, thought I could handle it. But the further down I went, the worse it got. And then I had to turn around and come back up. So, whew, lucky to get out of that, for sure. Jeez. So then if you're here wondering if they'll work for snow and ice, I'd say the answer is a resounding no. No, they won't. But I will say that they are dry, but I think it's dry because it's so cold. It's not even melting enough to get the boots wet. And as far as warmth, they're fine. Double sock works okay. Well, I think I've seen all that I need to see, for sure. <laughs> um, obviously, they're not meant for this kind of terrain. I actually don't think Merrells or anything else would, would have been any better. You, anything short of crampons, I think, would, would have performed just as poorly. So I'm going to call it a day. I head back to the car. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next adventure. See ya.